Okay, good afternoon or good morning, wherever you're watching this video from. Um, I just wanted to follow up on the previous uh, video I did on 3D Vista, which has had a really, really, really good response. Um, just to show you a feature that they've released recently, which I think is, is brilliant. Um, I've used it on a few of my tours recently. In fact, I've phoned a lot of my old clients and managed to get um, you know an, an upsell from them to actually change their tour. Uh, and embed their promotional videos within the 360 image. So uh, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to do um, on the uh, editing system here. So I'm going to use the same tool that we used before um, just to keep it all, all similar. Uh, so all you need to do to do this is come to the top section here to your panoramas and then hotspots. And then at the top here you've got the video hotspot. So if I just zoom in we're going to put something on this screen here. Uh, so we click on video I've already got one uploaded, but you can import other ones. Um, I believe they do have to be an MP4 format, uh, which is fine. I mean, I, I just I just convert them if I need to. So just click select, and then what we want to do is basically choose the area of the screen where it's going to be displaying. So uh, what's good with this is it will actually sort of recognise the area of the screen and bend round if you can see like so. Uh, now there is a little bit of trial and error with this because. What it will do is it needs to actually snap to the uh, proportions of the image. So, I'm hoping this one is going to do it. There we go, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's in. Um, we can sort of fine tune it afterwards, but you can see here, see it's snapping there. So, what it will do is it will only snap to certain areas. So, uh, we've got one in there. Um, why don't we go into the other room as well and put one on this big one, might as well. And this one hopefully is going to work okay because it is quite large. So if we just add video, choose the same one, select, and there we go. Right, so see it's following the bend of the screen. See now that's snapping out slightly off, so I might need to I'll just click there for now. Bit of trial and error with it, really. But there we go. That will do, that will do for now. So it gives you it gives you an idea. Um, so that's those two done, and then all we do is click preview. And we'll just convert the video. There we go. Oh, apologies. I didn't change one of the settings on there. Sorry. Right, just go back. So what I need to do is come onto here and click, here we go, play on start. Um, show first frame, yes. Play as a loop as well. And we'll change this one as well. Play on start. There we go. Oh, that should have fixed it. Well, oh, sorry about that. Okay. There we go. All done. I think it looks pretty good. Very good, actually. And then if we head into this from here, we should have a massive fire. There we go. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. You can see in the, from the corner here that there is a bit of adjustment needed, but that's easily, easily done. Um, you just need to to take out the points that you put in before and start in this corner and then just move over or maybe just make it slightly wider. Okay, um, so that's that really. Um, just to uh, let you know again, um, reminder from the last video that I am still offering a 50 euro discount off the pro version of 3D Vista if you did want to get it. Uh, if so, then click uh, on the link in the description below which will take you to my website. Uh, go onto the contact page, just fill out your details and just explain that you're interested in the discount code and I will send you a one-time link uh, which will take 50 euros off the price of 3D Vista Pro. Uh, any questions please leave them in the comments below and uh, yeah, take care, bye!